February 12. 590. Pelagius II, Pope of Rome, died. In his time a plague raged at Rome of so strange a nature, that person seized with it died sneezing and gaping. 1401. William Sawtry, a Lollard, condemned and burned to death at London for heresy. 1448. A general poll tax of sixty. With sixes. 8d. On every merchant stranger, and 20d. On their clerks, granted by Parliament to Henry VI. 1542. Catherine Howard, fifth wife of Henry VIII, beheaded. The execution of this ungrateful woman excited no commiseration, as she had been the principal instrument in the accusations against Anne Boleyn, her predecessor. 1554. Jane Grey beheaded, at the age of 17. She was the daughter of Mary, youngest sister of Henry VIII, and a woman of uncommon beauty, talents and learning. For her years, to which she added great amiability of disposition, and fortitude of mind, her disastrous fate created an extraordinary interest in her favor, which has continued unabated. Good Christian people, you come here to see me die, not for anything I have offended, for I will deliver to my God a soul as pure from trespass, as innocence from injustice. 1589. Blanche Perry died, chief gentlewoman to Queen Elizabeth, and a great lover of antiquities, besides a very tasteful writer. 1640. William Alexander. Lord Sterling, died, a dramatic poet and statesman in the time of James and Charles I. His poetry, for purity and elegance, is far beyond the generality of the productions of the age in which he lived. 1660. General Monk, now reconciled to the citizens of London, drew up his forces in Finsbury Fields, makes an apology which is the signal of rejoicing. Lamps the principal pastime. 1689. The Parliament of England chose William and Mary King and Queen. 1706. Battle of Frostade, in Prussia, in which the Saxons and Muscovites under Jin Schulemberg were defeated by the Swedes under Marshal Ranschild. 1733. The colony of Savannah commenced, under Jen Oglethorpe. This was the first settlement in Georgia. 1744. The Elector of Bavaria chose an Emperor of Germany under the title of Charles VII. 1746. Birthday of Thaddeus Kosciuszko, the Polish warrior. 1757. Peace concluded between the English and Sarajdowla. 1771. Adolphus Frederick II, King of Denmark, died. He was the founder of the Academy of Bell's Letters at Tornio. 1782. The British surrendered the island of St. Christopher's to the French, under the Marquis de Bouille. 1787. Joseph Roger Boscovic, an Italian mathematician, died at Milan. He was also an elegant poet. 1789. Gabriel Brotier died at Paris, an illustrious and amiable Frenchman, and one of the most distinguished ornaments of the Belles Letters in that country. 1792. Battle on the Plain of Morocco, between Yezid and his hem, two brothers, contesting for the throne. The forces of the latter, about 30,000, were defeated by about half the number under the former. Both commanders were badly wounded. Isham lost 1,300 killed, and 800 prisoners, who were all put to death by being nailed, to the walls and floors and left without food. 1793. John Manley died, aged 60. He was appointed by Washington a captain in the Navy, 
was very successful in his captures, but was finally taken prisoner by the British and confined in the mill prison. 1797. Anthony d'Auvergne died at Lyons. He was director of the opera at Paris, and an eminent composer. 1799. Lazarus Spallanzani, an Italian writer, died. He is considered as one of the greatest naturalists of that age. 1802. A messenger from England to Lord Cornwallis was attacked by two wolves near Boulogne, which tore off the lips of his horses. 1804. Immanuel Kent, a Prussian metaphysician, died. He was the son of a harness maker in the suburbs of Konigsberg. He continued by persevering industry to obtain a good education, and at the age of 22 successfully attacked the doctrines of the most eminent metaphysicians of the day. He was an original and profound thinker, as his numerous works attest and his philosophy has been taught in all the German universities except some Catholic ones. 1807. Battle of Marienwerder, in Polish Prussia, in which the Prussians were defeated by the French under Lefebvre. 1808. Remarkable duel at Bonnau, in Austria, between the Bavarian general von Reed, and a former Swedish minister, von Dubon. It was occasioned by the latter, having cast reflections upon the Bavarian troops in 1805, in his dispatches to the Swedish government, and was fought in presence of a vast number of people. 1810. Badajoz in Spain summoned to surrender by the French Marshal, Mortier. The governor returned the summons unopened. 1814. Battle of Chateau Thierry, between the French and Russians, in which the general of the latter, Fratton Rich, was taken prisoner. 1814. General Wilkinson burned his barracks at French mills. 1817. Battle of Che Cabuco, in Chile, in which the Patriots under San Martin and O'Higgins, gained a decisive victory over the Spaniards under Maroto. The victory of Maipo, which occurred afterwards, achieved the independence of the country. 1826. Diodatus Bai, died. He edited Cruden's Concordance, Diversions of Perley, etc. Some fugitive pieces in the gentleman's magazine bear his signature. 1831. Great solar eclipse annular, visible in most parts of the United States. 1832. The cholera made its appearance in London. 1834. Frederick Schleiermacher, a celebrated Prussian divine, died. He was professor of theology at Halle, and distinguished for the energy of his character and the extent of his acquirements. 1837. Edward Turner, professor of chemistry, London, died, aged 40. He was an eminent chemist, a popular and much esteemed professor and a very exemplary and benevolent character. 1840. Asley Paz Tom Cooper, a highly distinguished English surgeon, died at London, aged 72. He was one of the first operators of his time, and carried on a practice, unexampled for extent and emolument in the annals of surgery. His income from his practice was nearly $100,000 per annum. In one instance he received a fee of 1,000 guineas for an operation for the stone. 1855. The island of Cuba declared by the Captain General to be in a state of siege, and the coasts and circumjacent waters in blockade. 